The winter was flying by. Last year, we focused on the house, but this year, our thoughts were on enjoying our new mountain home. The carport and deck would be finished by April, and the snow was also making a swift retreat. It was Zen watching Nakamura-san work through the winter. Nearly every day after the framing, he showed up, rarely accompanied by anyone, just working alone, day by day. Nothing makes a structure more valuable than watching it come together at the hands of a professional. And we felt appreciation for Nakamura-san's painstaking attention to detail throughout the build. Shimokawa-san had assigned him the whole job, from the carpentry to the painting and every detail in between. Now, the cedar ceiling was complete. The deck frame and even all the wood had been stained and treated. I could hardly wait to barbecue on it, but the weather wasn't quite suitable for a barbecue just yet. The yakisugi or burnt cedar cladding that we'd used for the house would also comprise the walls of the carport. We couldn't wall it off completely because according to Japanese tax law, that would be a garage and a garage would be higher tax. But there was another compelling reason to leave the walls open. We wanted the carport to make as small of a footprint as possible in front of the house. The more room the carport took, the less room we had for a front yard. Furthermore, we wanted the carport to complement, not overpower, the house. As a result, we built the carport very narrow. And in order to fully open the doors on both sides of the car, we needed that space between the walls. Building a house is a series of compromises, but I really felt that one was pretty minor in the end. Anyway, that yakisuki gladding brought the house and the carport together. It was starting to look like it was one original concept, rather than just an add-on. I really hate the look of add-ons, so this was my concern from the outset. One of the less obvious dilemmas was how much space we wanted in between the boards of the deck. Our deck had been built out two meters, but that meant we had space for about 15 deck boards and then some. The question was, how much was then some? We could make the boards flush against each other, but that wouldn't allow for drainage. Instead, we could try to use 15 boards and divide the space evenly throughout the deck, but that would certainly make the gaps between the boards too large. We decided to go with 20 millimeter gaps, but it turned out looking too wide, so we changed it to 15 millimeters. That meant we needed to slice the 16th board at about 7 centimeters or so, but that was just simply what it was. One of the things we noticed last year was that the snow tended to stack up behind the house. It would slide off the roof in huge chunks that came to rest against the yakisugi siding. It even damaged some of the siding last year. We didn't want that, and we didn't want it to stack up high enough to get to the windows. So one of the jobs Nakamura-san was assigned to was to make a grid of sturdy deck boards to protect the back of the house. The snow barrier would have to extend the width of the house and be braced well enough to support the deck boards against the pressure of that snow and ice. By the time the snow rolls off the roof, it's pretty icy and we don't want to have to go behind the house and clear it during the winter months. It seems every year in Japan, somebody dies getting hit by snow falling off the roof. We don't want the house damaged, but we don't want to take this risk, so the snow barrier was the best solution. As spring set in, Nakamura-san finished the job, and it was a little sad to see him go. We felt like we'd come to know him pretty well over the winter, a sort of house guest. And on the last day, he touched up some painting and checked the work over for any forgotten details. It was excellent work, 
Rather than looking like a last minute add-on, the deck and carport really finished the house. The whole house looked better inside and out, just in time for spring. And with that, the professionals were done. But we still needed a place for our bikes, and a place for storage, and a place for wood for the stove. We needed some landscaping, and even a flat spot in the back where we could play lawn darts or badminton. And all of that is going to have to be done by amateurs. We're going to have to do it.